Hey, how's it going? Today we're gonna go over how to draw a Minecraft Creeper. Uh, this can be done super easy and super simply. Uh, it's gonna be for beginners and step-by-step. -step. So, if you're a beginner and you wanna do this step-by-step, -step, let's do it. I'm gonna be using this, a Faber-Castell P-I-T-T -T artist pen, big brush. Uh, you can use any marker you want though, don't worry, don't feel limited to this. And I'm gonna be using uh, just regular computer paper, so. All right then, let's get started. First thing I'm doing is start with a head. So it's basically like a little like, crawly thing, but like in a digital format, it's gonna be all polygon. So it's gonna be made of squares. So I'm gonna draw a line up here. Line down. I'm essentially just gonna start with a square. So draw a square. Okay, we have that one square, right? Now, I'm gonna put a back into that like it's gonna be a 3D cube. So I'm gonna draw a line downward to slope here and also down here. These two lines are gonna be very much aligned with each other. And I'm gonna draw a straight line there. Next thing, I wanna draw the next part of the cube, which is like a long, it's like a basically a long rectangle for the neck area. And I'm gonna just start with that first before I connect them. Let's draw a straight line around there. Straight line, I'm sorry, not straight line, a slightly angled line as well. I'm gonna go right here. Down could be significantly longer than the, uh, the box right there. Not that too much longer though. Pull diagonally downward here. Again, at a slight angle because you want, it's gonna be cube-like. I'm gonna pull this line down. And then from down here, I'm gonna pull a line upward. But this is gonna connect into this line here, so do that. So be careful right here. So there's already I can already imagine some issues. Um, when you're doing this, uh, try to easy the level of control because we're drawing a lot of straight lines with marker, with permanent marker, right? It's permanent on paper. You can't erase it. So if you want to practice your straight lines on a different piece of paper before this, you can absolutely do that to improve your general control. And one suggestion I have would be when you do this, kind of move your hand along the paper right here. Don't stay completely anchored like this portion of your hand. It doesn't need to be completely anchored because it's going to be hard to move it around like that far, right? But if you just go right here and you're sliding it down using your shoulder and elbow, it's going to be a lot easier. Um, but you have to gain control over time. So don't worry about it. If you don't have the control, it will come to you the more you do it. Or it'll come to you much faster, like I said, if you practice on another sheet of paper a bunch, these straight lines. Um, let's connect these. I'm going to draw a straight line here. And draw a line over here. And then I'm going to just like shade in this valley because it's floating above it and it's going to cause a shadow. So I'm, I'm just going to like... Stick them together that way. Let's go to the face real quick. Uh, let's put the... Around here, you're going to draw a smaller square. Be more... Um, be a little conservative with your, uh, you know, squares and how... It's better to make it smaller, especially because you're using a black marker. It's better to make it smaller if you're unsure and then you can expand it, right? Because we have black ink. Then to make it, uh, you know, too large. And it's like, oh, you can't really reduce it because we got, it's the ink to paper, you know? It's not really gonna get come out. Um, I'm gonna draw a straight line down here as well. It's more of like a half square. Pulling out a little bit from that half square, two lines out. We're gonna pull all the way down. And I'm gonna create a little square here on the bottom. And I'm doing this all in line, right? Okay. And so now I'm gonna fill these in. And be careful how you fill them in. Don't be, you know, don't, you know, don't, you don't need to do them too fast. It's not a big deal. Also, uh, 
Let's see. Let me concentrate and I'll talk after this. Try to fill these in. Because these are smaller shapes to fill in. It's not just like a large giant shape to fill in. These are small. And don't worry about it. Just keep the area moist at the same time. You don't have to worry about what direction you fill that shape in or anything. And you can also kind of repair edges a little bit. You're like, oh, that's not sharp enough or, you know, make it sharper. Um, uh, if you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Uh, I'm posting three videos every single weekday. Uh, they're all gonna be beginner videos. They're all gonna be easy. They're all gonna be fun to do um, if you like drawing. But like I said, if you find my stuff worth your time, please do me a huge favor and subscribe. Uh, it says that 97% uh, of the people that watch this channel are not subscribed, although that's going down and down every day, I've noticed, that percentage. Um, but you know, please do so. Like it helps the channel as far as the algorithm goes. So when you do it, it just kind of gives the channel a general boost uh, all around. Um, and that's pretty much it. And when you subscribe, it's gonna tell you roughly about what, 25% of the time <laughs> of when I post. Let's be honest, they're not gonna show you every video. It's gonna show you like 25% of them in reality, but it will you will go through those notifications every now and then. All right, let's go back to this. So now let's draw his uh, legs and he has these four kind of legs. So I'm gonna draw one I'm gonna pick them like over here. So I'm gonna draw uh, a line here toward the bottom. And these are also made up of boxes, right? This whole universe is, is, is cubic. So I have a top portion of that foot he's gonna have. Down, down, down. This way right here and again it's it's another it's another cube right so he's got his back foot over here and it's gonna be yet another cube over here you can even kind of piggyback onto this and just kind of just kind of draw a straight line across down so he has like his two feet on the ground here let's go let's draw the far side Draw a straight line downward. Again, this is gonna be, follow this line along here to kind of find the box on the other side. So you can even like draw a line straight across. Down, and then this is gonna be going around that corner. Alrighty. And that's, oh, whoops, I forgot. This is a line right here because this is a, an actual box. So like when you play with cardboard boxes, right? You're kind of imagining the other side, but you're not you're not actually gonna draw it because you know we can't see through this character. Um, but that's pretty much it, honestly. It's a pretty simple design. Uh, you, if you want, you can add an extra like line over here, maybe line over here, and, and just kind of draw this part in as well, because he's some in some in case he does have that pattern here on his foot. Um, I think he has it on the inside of his foot too, so you could even do this. But that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you so much. If you did enjoy that video, please do me a huge favor and share the video. Every time you share the video, it brings a huge boost to the channel as well. It brings a huge, huge boost to the channel. I get a lot of energy, a lot of cool vibes, honestly, a lot of new people just commenting in the comment section. If you did make it to this point, please say hi to me. I'll know, then I'll know you got to the very end. It's awesome. Uh, and it just makes my day as well when people do that. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. Oh, sorry about that, I forgot to say, it's been easy pictures to draw, and I will see you in the next video.